Can you tie a knot in a rope without letting go of the ends, assuming that the rope itself has no knot in it? Well, let's take a look. Here's a rope. I have it uh, held by my right hand and left hand at the ends. Uh, there's no knot in the rope. Clearly no knot in the rope. And yet, now there is a knot in the rope. How did that happen? Let's look at this situation again from another angle. Here I have a rope, and there's no knot in the rope, it just zigzags. You can see the zigzag very clearly, and uh, no knot whatsoever in the rope. And yet, without letting go of the ends, a knot falls into the rope. How did that happen? We can think about this one a little bit. So, here it is again, exactly the same situation as before. But now, consider that there is a knot in the whole system. You can see it. Consider the system consisting of my two arms attached to my shoulders and the rope. And think of my arms as extensions of the rope. So the rope goes up and then, goes, and then becomes my left arm going up to the shoulder and goes down and becomes my right arm going up to the right shoulder. And that entire longer rope, made of arm and, and, uh, and cloth rope, uh, that entire rope is knotted. You can see the knot now. And it is that knot which is getting transferred to a knot that's just on the rope, a local knot on the rope. So what we observed was a topological transformation, no cutting, no letting go of the ends, of a knot that was in the whole system of my arms and rope, ending up in a knot on the rope. And so it is possible to tie a knot in the rope without letting go of the ends in that sense. But what if we started with a, a fully unknotted system, two arms and a rope and no knot anywhere now, um, and we could try, uh, maybe I give it a try like this, and it didn't work. But maybe I give it a try like this, and it does work, and I get a trefoil knot. And so that's mysterious. It doesn't seem that it should be possible. I think the topologist will tell you that it can't be done. In fact, I'm a topologist and I tell you that it can't be done. Uh, and yet, it can be done. Perhaps you should think about that. And can you get other knots than the truffle knot? Up until a few weeks ago, it seemed that it was not so possible to get other knots than the truffle knot. Maybe there was some special property, the trefoil knot, that made it an exception to the theorems. But now it can be demonstrated that we can get the next knot, the next simplest knot, the figure of eight knot, in exactly the same kind of way. And there is a beautiful white figure eight knot produced by this method. 